A spoonful of sugar helps the robot go down. The truth is, electronics in general aren't designed to be eaten. They often have indigestible or even toxic materials inside them. They can cause serious damage if they get stuck inside you. But researchers all around the world are working to change that. Yes, there is actually a field of research called edible electronics. So why would you ever want to swallow electronics in the first place? One reason is medical imaging. There's a process called capsule endoscopy in which you would swallow a small camera inside a plastic capsule and it would take pictures of your GI tract as it passes through your system. That would mean a doctor wouldn't have to insert a tube into one end or the other or perform abdominal surgery. But there are alternative applications as well, such as authentication. A couple of years ago, a Motorola project leader actually suggested creating password pills. Imagine being able to log in securely to any device because you swallowed an e-verification pill that morning rather than having to type in a password. Or how about throwing good electronics after bad. Every year, thousands of people in the United States accidentally swallow button batteries. Often, these batteries just pass through our digestive system without any problem, but sometimes they can become embedded in various tissues, like the inner lining of our stomachs, and that can cause serious internal damage. But what if a child who accidentally swallowed such a battery could then take a pill containing a robot to remove that battery? For several years now, Dr. Daniela Roos and other researchers at MIT have been working on a concept called origami robots. These are robots that are folded up into a tiny shape and can unfold when subjected to a particular stimulus, like an electric current or a change in temperature. By unfolding and folding repeatedly, these robots can crawl or swim. And in 2016, these researchers from MIT, along with others from the University of Sheffield and Tokyo Tech, demonstrated that they could use such a robot in a simulated human system, an esophagus and stomach. It can be a challenge to make edible electronics since certain components Components tend to have really unfriendly stuff in them, particularly batteries and power sources, but that's beginning to change too. Carnegie Mellon professor Christopher Bettinger has been studying edible electronics for a few years, and his research team has created a battery with an anode made out of manganese oxide, which is a dietary mineral, and a cathode made out of melanin, that's the pigment found in skin and hair. This particular device could use liquids inside the body, such as gastric fluid, to act as an electrolyte to carry current between the anode and the cathode. And in the lab, they have demonstrated that this could create power of 5 milliwatts for up to 20 hours. Imagine a far-off future where you could even take something like a tiny surgical robot that could perform a procedure and then pass through your digestive tract. Or perhaps a drug delivery robot that could travel to a specific location in your digestive tract and release medication at the right time and place. All right, I got a question for you guys out there. What would your edible electronic device do? Would it be a GPS system that would protect your lunch? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button and join the Forward Thinking Think Tank by subscribing to the channel. Big thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show and making it possible. And don't forget, you can check out these other amazing videos about the future right over here.